So looking at question three here, we've got um, 20 minutes uh, proposed uh, or a suggested time. Uh, only accept numbers 1 to 20 inclusive. Invalid input if it's outside of that. Number followed by is even. Number followed by is odd. So I've got my uh, question three finished, uh, ready to go. And the first thing that I look, the first thing that I notice here is uh, it's talking about fixing a runtime error because of a valid number. So I'm spotting here that this num would be a string. So um, we need to coerce that to uh, to an integer. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Int. So now num is going to be in the right sense. Fix a logic error that caused no outputs were acceptable. So the other thing I notice here is we've got in integer divide here. Um, I'm going to go for modulus uh, because that's the classic test for odd and even. So if the remainder is zero, modulus two, and then else print so I think that fixes the logic error um, for um, testing for odd and even correctly next thing is um, Yeah, we need to restrict it to numbers uh, between 1 and 20 inclusive. So I'm going to, if num greater than or equal to 1 and num less than equal to 20, I'm going to go into this if loop. <coughs> so if the num is not in this range, I'm going to print invalid input. So let's have a go. We'll try saving that and running it. Input a number. Let's try four. Is even. Run. Seven is odd. Run. 22 invalid input, so it doesn't look too bad. Make all match statements of this and do not add any additional functionality. So don't think that's far off. I'm going to put uh, some comments in here. Maybe just open that up a little to make it more readable.
So if we look at the uh, mark grid, you can see that uh, we've, we've got the color coding here to match up with the assessment objectives. So coercion of input gets you a mark, fixing errors by using modulus rather than integer divide. The validation would get me to collect correct Boolean operator, uh, use of AND rather than OR, get you one, and the correct output messages. And now the uh, level-based mark scheme will, will donate up to six uh, marks for for this uh, question. So let's have a quick look at that. So solution design will be if it's uh, if it's clear and appropriate logic to the um, to the problem, and then the functionality is if it works. So ostensibly here you could get three marks for a completely fully working solution even if the solution design has been very unclear and uh, ill chosen uh, functions and you know one could have used the de integer divide and test that uh, what was left was a whole number rather than floating and such like it would have been over the top and not not elegant and not a good solution design so this result would have uh, given the full 13 marks